Hi, and welcome to this demo of Enfocus Full Switch 08. Enfocus Full Switch has a fast return on investment. It allows you to design flows with an easy user interface, standardize processes and reduce human errors, protect investments of already bought software in the company, and flexibility by choosing the best application for you. The best way to create a flow is by going to the flow panel. In this flow panel, we can create groups of flow. So I'll create a new group, which I call group one. And then after that, I select a group and we go to the plus icon in the toolbar to create a new flow. So creating a new flow, we have a blank flow and an option to import sample flows. I'll take blank flow, provide a name, and there is my new flow. So let's receive files first of all by setting up a hot folder so we drop drag and drop the folder element we provide a name I'll put in there input from hot and then we connect that hot folder with a second folder to create a small workflow so I start the connection by right clicking next to setting up a hot folder you can also receive files for instance from FTP so I'll use an FTP receive I'll connect it with my folder sever 7 element. I can also set an angle to my connections. The first hot folder needs to be configured using properties. I choose a folder. I create actually a new one on my desktop. You can set the scanning interval. I'll set it to 5 seconds. Next to that, we have to set the FTP receive, first of all the FTP address, username and password, and then the last folder needs to be renamed to file from routing. So now we receive the files. Let's route the files. So I'll drag two folders on there, extra folders, and I'll connect the two file routing folder with each one of them. Now we have a two-way street where we have to set up a requirement for our routing. We do that on the connection. First of all, you can set a name on the connection as well to know what you're routing for. And then I include files by file type where I'll select first of all my PDF files, for instance. The second one I rename to to distiller because I also want to receive PostScript files. I define file type, postscript, add, OK, and I'll set a name on my connection which resembles my file routing. Now all other files need to be dropped in a specific folder, so I'll add a new one which I call other file types, and on that connection I can easily take all other files are included which means that if it's not a PDF or PostScript file it will be put into the all other file types. Once we've routed our files we can process our files first of all the distiller part in the processing category of the elements pane we can add a distiller element in there connect it with our to distiller folder. On this distiller we then set our job option or Adobe PDF setting so I'll select press quality and then we connect it to the pre-flight because at that point it's already a PDF file. Distiller can also process or create error logs if something went wrong during the conversion. On the connection we can carry three types data log or data with log. The data is the file, the log is the report. So in this case, I'll set success and warning out and I'll set error to yes, which means that right now, error logs will be set to the distiller error logs. The pre-flighting is done by Pitsub server. So we drag and drop a Pitsub server element on there. We set the properties, first of all, the PDF profile, which I'll select from library. There we go. We can set, for instance, our certified PDF properties. So I'll start the certification. 
We have some other properties. Very interesting is the report type, which can be PDF or XML. Our report language can be different for each, and we have the measurement units, which can be different for each. Once we've done that, we know the PIT subserver can handle error files, warning files, or success files. So what we'll do is, first of all, we want to have an output connection for our success files. Again, on the connection, we say carry the data type and we are not allowing error files going to that direction. Second of all, I want to make a distinction between error files and error logs. So first of all, I want to send my error files to a separate outgoing connection. So I'll set that correct. And then third, I also want to set my error logs to a different connection. So I start that connection and on the connection itself, again, I'll take data, now I'll take log, and then I'll disable my success and warnings. So now I have pre-flighted my files and I want to send my files again and deliver them, for instance, to an FTP server. So I'll take an FTP send element and in the properties, I'll set my settings, FTP server, username and password, And then I can also set a specific directory. So I'll take, for instance, success in this case. The error logs, I want to be notified of any errors. I can use the mail send element for that. So I'll connect both error logs from PitSub server as my distiller error logs to my mail send. And in my mail send properties, I'll set a simple sub subject. I have to set up my email addresses and I can attach my reports. Well, this is a simple flow in Switch. For more information, movies and a 30-day trial, please go to enfocus.com.